In this video, I'm going to show you how to use TinyTask to automate windows. So this is TinyTask over here, and I'm going to show you the basic functions and how you can do pretty much anything you want with it, okay? So if you want to automate windows or let's say a specific process, this is the easiest way to do it, and it's using TinyTask, okay? So let's say I would like windows to automatically uh, open up this uh, task manager over here and then look for a program. Let's say I want a Discord, okay? So I wanted to look for Discord and it to, to end the task. So to shut it down without me doing anything, just simply running a basic program, okay? Now this is very simple to do and I'm going to show you for this instance, but you can do it for anything you would like. So you wanna press on this record button up here inside TinyTask and then simply do what you wanna do. So go down here, right click, Task Manager, and you want to go up here, type in Discord, and then click on it, press End Task, and there we go. Then you want to close this down and finish the recording. Now I'm going to show you what this is going to do, okay? Uh, I have to run up Discord again, of course, since it was shut down right now with this. Okay, it's checking for updates, there we go. Okay, Discord has now been opened. As you can see, it's open in my computer, and I'm going to play this little recording that we've just done, okay? So if I play this, it's going to automatically go down here, right click, task manager, and then it's going to go up here, look for Discord, it's going to click on it, click on add task, which will end task, and there we go. It did exactly what we wanted it to do, okay? Now, if you want this task that you just recorded um, to be saved, and you can kind of adjust it uh, later on, you can press this save button over here, okay? And this will save your recording, so let's say Discord uh, shut down, Discord shut down, and then you want to save it somewhere onto your computer, let's say I want to save it to desktop, and it will have this kind of recording um, extension to it, okay? So it says Discord shut down dot rec, okay? This means it's a recording, and uh, yeah, if it says recording, you of course can't run this. However, you can open it up uh, a la at a later date, okay? So if you want to open this up at a later date, inside TinyTask, uh, you can do that by simply clicking open over here and then finding your recording, pressing on it and clicking open. And if you then press play, it's going to play it yet again. However, if you want to, out of the recording that you've made. If you want to make an exe file, which you can execute on your computer and you make it run smoothly without any issues and the computer doing everything automatically for yourself, you wanna click this .exe and then you want to select where you want this to be. So let's say I want it to be on my desktop and it's already named desk Discord Shutdown and you wanna press save. And as you can see, compile was successful. You wanna press okay and there we go. I now have a Discord shutdown exe. And if I open up Discord over here, I'm going to show you that it's going to do it by itself. So I now have this app. I can close down TinyTask, okay? And I can simply double click this and it just automatically, as you can see, will go inside the task manager, look for Discord up there. There we go. It will click on it, then click end task, and then it will close down. And that's it, okay? You can use your computer like normal once that's done. And that's exactly how you use TinyTask to automate Windows 11. Now, this is, of course, the basic, kind of the basic steps. You can do more things with this, okay? You can do whatever you'd like, of course. But I'm going to show you how to, for example, make this, uh, let's say, operation, so the Discord shutdown, a, a bit faster, okay? So I'm going to open back up what we just saved, so the Discord shutdown. And, of course, I have to open up Discord so it will be able to find Discord. There we go. And if you go into prefs over here, so these are the preferences, you can change the play speed. And this is where it really gets fun, okay? So the play speed can be 100, 2, 8. You can basically uh, set a custom speed, okay? So let's say I want the custom speed of recording to be five times. And if I press OK with this, okay? As you can see, I have Discord open. Watch what happens now. I'm going to hit play. Okay, as you can see, this was now a five times speed and it did it much faster than I probably could myself, okay? And this is where these things really get handy. Now I'm going to open Discord up yet again for you and we're going to put 
the speed to a bit more, okay? And you'll see what happens. If we go to prefs and then set custom speed, let's say I want it to be at 25. You press OK, press play. As you can see, it's going to do it very, very quickly, okay? In fact, it didn't even have the time to shut Discord down because, yeah, the task manager is not working so fast. As you can see, it typed in Discord. It didn't even have time to pop up. It already clicked, and there we go. Okay, so yeah, of course you have to play with the speed and uh, make it so where your program works. But yeah, once you set the speed, you can then again save the exe file. Okay, let's say uh, an named file two, and as you can see, it says it's been um, um, kind of uh, completed and saved as an exe file with execution speed of 25x and the repeat loops one. Okay, so it does one loop and that's it. Now. Of course, this is the program. If you go into preferences, you can also set it to do a continuous playback. So we can do uh, some continuous tasks, let's say when an auto clicker or something like that. Okay. And you can also change your recording hotkey so you don't always have to uh, have to click over here for the start and stop recording. And you can change your playback hotkey so you don't always have to uh, press here to play and stop playing. Okay. You can also set it to always stay on top. So no matter which app you open, uh, your um, tiny task will always stay on top and you can set it to show captions or not or to use default to toolbar or not okay and that's pretty much it that's how you use tiny task to automate windows 11 and i hope this video helped you out